Mike Yanni is not having flapjacks this morning, <laughs> unfortunately. Looking forward to healthier fare. Now, Mike, how much junk food did you eat over the course of the last 10 days? You know me. I've got a sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. So I had my share, but I got to tell you guys, Saturday night I was there. We kind of wrapping it up with the family, and I went for a funnel cake Sunday. Oh. So a giant funnel cake. And I thought maybe a scoop or two of ice cream. I am not kidding you. I should have snapped a picture of this. The ice cream was that high. Yum. Wow. It was Did ridiculous. you eat the whole thing? Three of us tackled it. <laughs> we couldn't finish it. Really? <laughs> Insane. It well, was delicious. Well, it's good to set goals for next year. Yeah, I need some vegetables. I need uh, something other than deep fried food this week. And I think I'm in the perfect place for it. At St. Culinary Campus, Chef Dina joining me this morning. Dina Lemke, uh, thanks for joining us. But, you know, people, we think about salads and, like, leafy greens. I don't really want that. But... You are showing us some entree salads. I think even a lot of the guys out there are like. Yeah, I've got three different salads for you. We did uh, an entree salad uh, con ed class here, and these were three of the favorites from that class. So we're going to start with a grilled steak and soba noodle salad, which okay. uh, should even even the gents who uh, you know want to cook on the barbecue, you can good. have this one for dinner. Okay, so where do we begin? Okay, we got some soba noodles here. So I pre-cooked these soba noodles, rinse them off with cold water just so they get all the starch off of them. I'm, I've never had what, what's soba noodle? It looks soba like noodles are uh, also they're called buckwheat noodles. So they're okay. a mix of buckwheat flour and these have uh, regular wheat flour as well. So we got That's some good. cooked soba noodles. Some peppers. Greens. I've got some red and yellow julienne peppers. Carrot julienne, so it's a nice colorful salad. Okay. Some green onions. And then I've got some cooked shiitake mushrooms. And I actually braised off these mushrooms with some garlic and ginger and a little bit of soy sauce. And that just infuses the flavor in them. Okay. Okay, and that's the basics for that. So we'll just put that on the side. And then if you want to help me make the salad dressing. Sure. The bowl. You've got the bowl and I've got the ingredients here. Yep. So this is miso paste and miso is a fermented soy paste so it's got lots of protein in it. And you can find that regular stores? Yeah, you can find that at regular stores, okay. uh, Asian markets for sure and then you'll find a, a variety of different kind of miso. Okay, and this is rice wine vinegar. This is a blend the sesame oil and canola oil and I find if you just go with sesame oil it's a little strong tasting so I like to cut it with some canola oil. Okay, ginger, garlic, and chili flakes. Soy sauce. And a little bit of honey, just to sweeten this up. And if you want to whisk that. Whisk it up. And this one will emulsify all on its own with the honey that's in there and the miso paste that's in there. Try not to make a mess. How long do you whisk this for? Just till it's nice and mixed? Yeah, just till it's mixed. So and then we can bring our bowl of uh, the ingredients back. We throw this in there. Throw it right in there. And we're almost out of time here, but you put it in here, toss it for just till it's nice, good mix. Yes, okay. toss it till it's mixed, and if you want to bring that salad over, then. Look at that. Now, see, I look at this, and I don't think of this as a salad at all. And then on top of that, you're going to add some steak. Sliced ribeye steak. Ribeye steak. That is amazing. Doesn't this look good, guys? Oh, that looks yeah, so, so good. Yeah, I mean, so you don't have to go through the complete beef withdrawal, you're just eating it more healthy now. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to dig into this. Dig in. Do it. Yeah, that steak looks delicious. That does look good.